Once upon a time, a wise and a kind king ruled a prosperous country. As a devoted Buddhist, he wished for his people to live in peace and unity. To achieve this, he planned a grand feast for 50 monks who were coming to visit him, hoping that their presence and blessing would bring good fortune to his land. In the weeks leading up to the feast, the palace bustled with preparations. The royal cooks carefully made a menu of tasty foods and the palace staff put up beautiful decorations around the grounds. The king personally oversaw the plan to ensure everything went smoothly. On the day of the feast, a big part of the castle grounds was turned into a beautiful outdoor kitchen. The smell of delicious food filled the air and people got more and more excited. The cooks diligently prepared the dishes, unaware of the tragic event that was about to unfold. As the cooks hurriedly made the food, an eagle flew overhead, carrying a struggling snake in its talons. Desperate to escape, the snake released a few drops of poison, which fell unnoticed into one of the dishes. The monks arrived and were served the food. They told the king how grateful they were for his kindness. But tragedy struck when all the monks who ate the poisoned food died right away. The king, his people and the people who worked in the castle were all very upset by this sudden disaster. The king was sad, so he ordered an investigation to find out what happened. As the word spread about the tragedy, Yama, the Buddhist god of death, had to make a hard choice. Who should bear the karmatic burden for this terrible act? The king, who unknowingly served the poison food. The cooks, who prepared it without realizing its deadly nature. The eagle that carried the snake. Or the snake merely trying to defend itself. Yama pondered the case, carefully considering the actions and the intentions of each party involved. Meanwhile, three monks from the monastery arrived in the kingdom to find out what had happened. As they journeyed through the streets, they encountered a woman who warned them of the dangers ahead. With a wicked glim in her eye, she recounted the tragic tale, warned them, Be careful when you go to the palace. People say that this country's king poisoned the food of monks like you to kill them. Yama observing the unfolding events, finally made his decision. He declared the woman would bear the karmatic burdens of the monk's death and face the consequences of her sin. The decision surprised Yama's assistant. He asked, But why, Lord? This woman had nothing to do with the terrible act. She neither poisoned the food nor served it to the monks. She wasn't even present when the tragedy occurred. Yama calmly replied, when someone commits a wrongful act, they often take pleasure in it. But when the monks died, it didn't bring joy to the king, not to the chef, not to the eagle, not to that snake. But this woman enjoyed spreading the tale of their misfortune, delighting in their suffering. The effect of this accident will now be added to this woman's karma. Our actions, words and thoughts have profound effect on the world around us. By being mindful of the energy we bring to every encounter, we can make a better choices that encourage understanding, compassion and goodwill. The way we treat people, the words we use and the things we do can either bring people up or bring them down. Let us harness our power to create a more loving, understanding and supportive world one interaction at a time. We can begin by listening to others, offering assistance when needed, and practicing kindness in our words and deeds. We should approach challenging situations with patience and open-mindedness, striving to understand different perspectives and finding common ground. If you enjoyed this story and its lesson, please click the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. For more insightful stories and lessons on personal growth, together we can make a difference by spreading positivity and wisdom. By sharing these stories, we encourage others to reflect on their own actions and attitudes, inspiring them to cultivate a kinder, 
and more compassionate approach to life. As we all commit to personal growth, we contribute to a collective shift towards a more harmonious and inclusive world. It's through our combined efforts that we can truly make a difference, fostering understanding and empathy in our communities and beyond. Thank you for your support in this journey and for being a part of this movement to create a better world for all. Thank you for watching and remember, the power of change lies within each of us. Until next time, take care and keep shining.